Reading and writing are very complex skills. For the best of our readers, it takes years of practice to become accomplished. Our best readers can pick up how the written language works and how it links to spoken language in the process of reading. Others, many others, sort of get it, enough to get by, and then there are those that simply do not get it at all. Children do not need to be diagnosed dyslexics to find reading a complete mystery. Children who, for whatever reason, cannot figure it all out need to be specifically taught how to think, how to process those letters and words on the page, how to read. They need to be taught the skills systematically and explicitly, beginning with what they can manage, what they can already do and what they already know, and work from there. Developing the skills will not happen overnight or in a few weeks with a teacher aid. These kids need all the practice they can get and the process is exactly the same for those who have been diagnosed as dyslexic as for those who struggle for other reasons. So the first step in the Agility with Sound program is this quick assessment. This is the most important part and it takes about a minute per child to figure out where they should start. Can the child read these words easily and relatively fluently? If not, start here. Maybe the problem develops over here where the words are a bit longer, or here, or here, maybe even here. Agility with sound runs right through to this level. This quick spelling test gives more information. You may not need to do all of it. Some kids are really struggling here. Others more or less manage this part. But many difficulties show up here. And there is no point in continuing beyond that. From there on, there are four key parts how to relate letters to sounds and to words, how to turn those strings of letters into words easily, efficiently and fluently, how to apply that knowledge and skill to reading and writing, and how to comprehend and how to write. Every element is critical. You cannot assume that just because the student has developed a base set of skills that competent reading and writing will follow. For struggling kids, this really happens. So the first part, letters and sounds, and how to relate that to words. These apps cover these skills. Headphones on, and the child just goes for it. Transform words with as few tile changes as possible. Except for the most seriously challenged, these apps are a starting point. They are self-teaching and engaging so that adult input is minimal. This may be supplemented with a range of activities based on these letter tiles. And the activities are here in this manual. There is a video that goes with the purchase of this pack. Stage 2. Decoding words efficiently, easily and fluently, recognising the patterns. In other words, the chunking and blending skills. For many, maybe most kids, the breakdown occurs here. These are the principal tool with instructions on the back and video support. Charting the results gives the incentive that most children need. But for a variety, these sliders develop the same skill. So do these puzzles. And for the young kids, these head tummy tail cards. 
Stage three, the reading and writing. It is all very well knowing the basic sounds and patterns, but if your skills are fragile and developing, how do you apply that to text that could have any of the 1,120 ways to spell the sounds of English, where the letter A could make seven or eight different sounds? And you have learnt just one of them, where there are a bewildering array of digraphs of all sorts abound. The simple fact is that struggling kids cannot. They absolutely need reading practices with text they can read, want to read, and meet their learning needs. It may be starting here. Or here. Stick at it and their skills will develop. Almost all will get to the point where they can manage the bewildering complexity that is English, but not yet. The same with spelling. Many of these kids can spell phonetically, but this takes concentration, a level of concentration that leaves little space for thinking about structure and content. These dictation sentence, sentences give plenty of practice in gaining automaticity in writing words and sentences, developing the ability to do this unconsciously with words and sentences kids can spell, want to spell, and meet their learning needs. Finally, comprehension and writing skills, the point of it all. It has long been known that the best way to foster comprehension skills is by modelling the thinking of good comprehenders. And this is here, already scripted in the manual. This is supplemented by activities that require the child to apply that thinking. Interpreting and visualising in the beginning with caption drawings, and more drawing, plays, designing posters and the like later on, and with writing further on again. Activities like this one, well into the learning sequence, require the child to summarise, pick out the main themes and salient examples, and in this case restructure what they have read. This book discusses river otters first, and then moves to sea otters. And now the child must turn that into a compare and contrast form. Paragraph 1, 2, 3 and so on. How to paragraph. How to write a main point followed by detail or an example. are all here in this template. So Agility with Sound is a complete sequenced program that takes those who are below their potential through the entire process, systematically, sequentially, and explicitly, just as the research and reading science tells us must happen.